Remote Desktop is a useful feature that allows you to access and control another computer remotely. However, sometimes you may encounter a black screen when you try to connect to a remote PC using Remote Desktop on Windows 11. This can be frustrating and prevent you from completing your tasks. Fortunately, there are some possible solutions that can help you fix this issue and restore your remote connection. There are several factors that could contribute to the remote desktop black screen problem. Graphics driver issues such as outdated or incompatible graphics drivers can lead to display problems. Incorrect display settings on either the host or remote machine might be causing the black screen. Sometimes, unstable or poor network connections can cause disruptions, leading to a black screen during remote desktop sessions, or there may be security software blocking remote desktop connection. Depending on the cause of the problem, there are different ways to fix the remote desktop black screen issue in Windows 11. Here are some of the methods that you can try. Change the resolution. One of the simplest ways to fix the remote desktop black screen issue is to change the resolution of your remote connection. Sometimes, the default resolution may not be compatible with your remote PC or your local monitor. Open the Remote Desktop Connection app by typing Remote Desktop Connection in the search box and clicking on the top result. Click on Show Options to expand the settings menu. Go to the Display tab and adjust the slider under Resolution to a lower or higher value than the default one. In addition, under Colors, select High Color 16 bit from the drop down. Now click on Connect to start the remote session and see if the black screen issue is resolved. Bitmap caching is a feature that allows remote desktop to store images of frequently used parts of the remote session on your local computer. This can improve the performance and responsiveness of the remote session, but it can also cause some display issues, such as black screen. Let's disable bitmap caching and check if this helps. Again open remote desktop connection click on show options to expand the settings menu. Go to the experience tab and uncheck the box next to persistent bitmap caching. Click on Connect to start the remote session and see if the black screen issue is resolved. Remote Desktop Services control and enables you to connect to remote computers using Remote Desktop. Sometimes, this service may malfunction or stop working and cause the black screen issue. Let's check and restart Remote Desktop Service to fix the problem. Press Windows plus R keys to open the Run dialog box. Type Services.msc and click on OK to open the Services app. Find Remote Desktop Services and right-click on it. Select Restart from the context menu and wait for the service to restart. Try connecting to the remote computer again and see if the black screen issue is resolved. Explorer.exe is a process that controls the graphical user interface of Windows, such as the Desktop, Taskbar, and File Manager. Sometimes, this process may crash or freeze and cause the black screen issue when using Remote Desktop. On your local computer, open the Task Manager. Find Windows Explorer on the list of processes. Right-click on it and select End Task from the context menu. Click on Run New Task on the Create New Task window. Type Explorer.exe and click on OK. Try connecting to the remote computer again and see if the black screen issue is resolved. Again, network problems can impact remote desktop functionality. A poor or unstable connection can result frequent disconnects or remote desktop screen black. Check Wi-Fi or Ethernet connections. Test internet speed using tools like Speedtest. Restart your router or modem and reconnect your computers to the network. Check if your firewall or antivirus software is blocking remote desktop connections and allow them if necessary. In addition, enable network discovery and file sharing on both your local and remote computers. In addition, disconnect VPN if connected and temporarily disable the antivirus before connecting to remote computer. One of the primary reasons for a black screen on remote desktop is outdated or incompatible graphics drivers. 
Graphics drivers are crucial for rendering visual elements, and outdated drivers can cause display issues. Update or reinstall the graphics driver help most users fix the black screen problem. Press Win plus X and select Device Manager. Expand the Display Adapters section. Right click on your graphics card and select Update Driver. Select the first option, search automatically for drivers, and follow the on screen instructions to update the driver. Alternatively, you can visit the device manufacturer to download and install the latest graphics driver on your device. Group Policy is a tool that allows you to configure various settings for your computer and network. There is a specific policy setting that needs to be enabled for remote desktop to work properly. If this setting is disabled, it can cause a black screen issue. Press Windows key plus R, type gpedit.msc and click OK to open the Group Policy Editor. Navigate to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, Remote Desktop Services, Remote Desktop Connection Client. On the right pane, double click on, turn off UDP on Client, Policy setting, select Enabled option and click on OK to save the changes. Now go to Remote Desktop Session Host, Remote Session Environment. Double click the Use WDDM Graphics Display Driver for Remote Desktop Connections option. Select or check the Enabled option to enable this policy. Restart your computer and try connecting to the remote computer again. In addition, make sure your Windows 11 is updated to the latest version. You can check it from settings Yojak Chin greater than Windows update check for updates. If new updates are available, allow them to download and install. Restart your PC to apply changes, and try to connect the remote computer again. For a few uses, Disable Fast Startup helps fix remote desktop black screen problem on Windows 11. The Fast Startup feature, helps you restart your Windows laptop or quickly wake it from hibernation. These are some of the best possible solutions to fix the remote desktop black screen issues on Windows 11. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.